it's magic. That's right, today is your lucky day because I'm gonna be teaching you 10 epic ways to levitate almost anything, including yourself. If you're new to this channel, subscribe right now and stick around to the end because we're gonna do another giveaway. Check it out. Warning, you are about to learn over 10 awesome and easy levitations. Bookmark and share this 30 minute video or your head might explode. This first levitation is so simple and so deceptive. Check this out. Let's say I wanted to levitate this book. Just put it between your hands and then relax and you watch it levitate. It's so simple, you guys. Now I'm gonna show you the secret. You can see there's nothing in my hands. There's no strings, no mirrors. How do I do it? Well, it's really simple. I'm wearing a watch. And guess what's inside my watch? A dinner knife, that's right. So if you're ever at a table, this is a great way to levitate something small like a plate. If you're sitting around somewhere at school, you can levitate a book. Anything that's medium sized, that's not too thick, that can fit between here and here because all you're going to do is wedge this knife into a somewhat firmly fitting wristband and that right there is what's gonna support the item. So what I did to begin with is I came up with the book and I just put it between my two hands. Well, what I really did is I slid it onto the top of that knife and then just sandwiched it. And then I relaxed and then gave this appearance as if it's floating. Of course, it's just stuck to the knife. How cool and simple is that? Now, what's really cool is once you pull the item away from the back, you could just push that down your sleeve and out of the way, and then you can be completely clean and no one would ever know the difference. By the way, Tricks to Pick Up Chicks is my book. It's not what you think. It's full of bar bets and gags and just all kinds of fun stuff to screw with people. Check it out. Now here's a bonus version with the same idea. If you and a friend are across a large table, both of you can have this set up like this. Have each of you put your knife underneath the table, put your hand on top, and both of you from each side lift up and what will happen is the table will come up. Now in this case, this table is really light so I'm able to almost do it on my own, but imagine a big cocktail table and two friends like this using their powers of magic to lift the table up and unbeknownst to the friends that are around who you've also instructed to put their hands on the table, they would never know that two of you are in on it lifting it up with this gimmick. That's awesome. All right, this next levitation is gonna blow your mind. It's one of the coolest things you will ever do with a borrowed bill or a piece of paper or napkin. All you gotta do is balance it very delicately on one of your fingertips. Whoa, look at that. Now that is cool. You can see the static. It's shaking a bit and you can see it jumping from hand to hand, finger to finger sometimes. Oh, there it goes, see? That is wild, right? Now if you grab it from above, what you can do is literally just let go and have it dangle, but make sure they don't see that you're holding this invisible string right here. Wait, what the, what the heck? This must be real magic. This is crazy, you guys wanna learn it? All right, hit that like button right now because we have nine more tutorials to go. All right guys, here is the secret. Right here, there's a special wire. It's a string and it's an invisible string and it's not what you think. This is not sold in magic community. This is not sold in the magic shops. This is something you create at home. I'm gonna show you the secret. This is something I came up with years ago. This is how I first learned how to levitate things when I was just first starting off in magic. Now I will say, in the magic community, there is extreme talent, dexterity, skills, uh, advanced engineering, props, and all kinds of things that make so many elaborate illusions and levitations work that it goes far beyond the scope of this video. But this right here is, is, is just awesome, so I really hope you guys try this out and blow your friend's mind. It's so cool. All right, now here's the secret. Obviously, there's this little string right here. If I lay a piece of paper on it, you can see it just slides right down because I have it going from my table up to this board right here. I have it taped on here. So it's just a length of about two feet or three feet right here, literally just taped on. And when you put a piece of paper over it, what you're gonna do is drape it over and then give it a little bit of a twist so it stays there. And what's so cool about that is now you can grab the bottom corner and push up against the string and it looks as if you're balancing it right here on your fingertip. And so this still allows you to move it up and down and let it go and it still stays in that spot because the string doesn't move. 
So since I know the string is right here on this angle, going from down, up, 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 up on this angle, what's really cool is I know that I can move my hands here and here, and right there I touch the string. Right here I touch the string. So all I have to do is make sure I just go like this. So I can go from above and below. I can go in front and behind, above and below in this direction. And then what's really cool is you can make a circle in your hands like this, and you can go completely around the object like this. And it looks really convincing. All right, guys, for the reveal, you are not going to believe it. What I'm using is a pair of pantyhose. What? Pantyhose? That's right, pantyhose. So what's really cool about this, if you're a woman and you happen to be wearing these and you have a black pair or a really dark brown pair, or if you're a guy and your sister or mom or girlfriend or somebody has a pair you can get, or just get a pair from the dollar store. What is so amazing is if you ever tear a hole in the foot or in the knee, don't throw these out because there's thousands of invisible strings in here that you get to use for magic. So I'm gonna show you really up close exactly how you pull one of these out and then you can use it for magic. So you can see right here, I've put a small snag and tear into this. And if you look super, super close, you will find tons and tons of these extremely fine elastic bands coming out of it. Now, I am not gonna be able to show you this on camera because they are almost invisible to the naked eye. I've pulled up right here literally about six or seven of them and I'm trying to locate just one. So right here, I've pulled on about three or four of the strands of the elastic invisible thread that runs all the way through the length of the leg of one of these things. And what's cool is they're stretchy. So what you're gonna do is isolate just one of those and go ahead and snap it off of the lower end, just snap that off. Wow, this is so cool, you guys. I've bunched a whole bunch up on my finger right here so you can see it, but if it wasn't bunched up, this stuff is invisible. It's crazy. And what you're gonna do is get some of this mounting goo, this putty, or some tape. So what you're gonna do is put a piece of this putty onto the end of the string and Bend it over a few times so a good amount of the string is lost inside. So now I have this putty that has string balled up inside of it and the rest is hanging below. Now how cool is this, guys? So what you're gonna do is very lightly, very lightly and slowly pull and push the rest of the nylon down as you pull up, just like that, slowly but surely. And what you're gonna do is slowly milk out a good few feet of this. Do not pull too hard to break it. Just very lightly pull a little bit and then shake the wrinkles out so you don't snap it. And little by little, you're gonna get this big length out of here. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of white cardboard and I've torn two sides here and here so there's a, a place to lock in the string. And right now, for demonstration purposes, I stuck the putty on here and pulled this across. And you can clearly see it now, but if you zoom in really close, you can also see that this is about three or four strands of this, what I call, invisible string. The reason I have the notches is so that once you have your full length of strings pulled out, what you're gonna do is hook it through the notch on one end, and then hook it through the other notch on the other end, so you can control this string, and more importantly, so you can see it against a product. Otherwise, you're just not gonna be able to keep track of this thing. And so once it's wrapped on there, just keep pulling and pulling and pulling out the back. And like I said before, don't break this baby. Oh, this is, this is amazing. I've got a couple feet now. Just keep going. Once you have two or three feet or more, attach a piece of the putty on both ends so then you can attach it from one point to another secretly. What's really cool is behind a door jam and a table or behind a table in the corner of the ceiling or something like that so you can have whatever angle of string you secretly need so you can walk up the string sitting there and you can just walk up casually and then just apply the piece of paper or dollar to it and pull off your magic illusion. When you're done with the trick, be sure to pull the putty off of one end and then pull it off the other end so you can rewrap this around your white piece of paper so you can always keep track of your invisible string so you can use it next time. This next one's a great trick and gag that you can do at the bar with a coaster, a paper coaster, a business card, or a playing card. What you're gonna do is start off with a joke saying I can make this levitate, watch. 
You're gonna put it against your mouth and suck. And then everyone goes, oh yeah, okay, it's levitating. But then you do it again, you go, no, no, watch. How crazy is that? I don't think this is gonna translate as cool as it is on video, but in person, if you're doing this somewhat head on, this is really freaky looking. And all it is is a little bit of pantomime. Now let's do it from the side so you can see exactly what's going on. That's awesome, right? So from the front, what's happening is when you're sucking it on it with your mouth, you have your hands right here. What they don't see is your thumbs back here because your thumbs can extend really far as long as they're hidden from your hands back here. You can't tell if they're touching or really far back. And that's what's so rad about this. So from here, when you're sucking on it, don't let them see your thumbs. Make it look like your fingers are way out here, which they are, your front fingers. And then slowly what you're doing is bringing that card toward your fingertips and it gives this illusion that it floats out. And as you're bringing it to your outreached fingers, move your hands forward a bit. So once it makes contact, you're really far away. And like I said, in person, this really does blow minds even though it's kind of a gag. So depending on your acting abilities, your pantomime abilities, and just selling this, you can make this really an illusion or you can make this as kind of a gag. This next levitation and illusion is so fun to do at dinner parties or out at restaurants with friends and family. What you're gonna do is bring up your napkin, show both sides, shake it out. You're gonna put it on top of your dinner roll that's on top of your plate or on the table, and then you're going to focus, and all of a sudden, the dinner roll starts to go up. Whoa. And float up and actually out and out, completely out. Whoa. Look at this. Ooh, spooky magic. So once again, this is one of the, whoa, 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 whoa. Again, this is one of those that comes down to your ability to pantomime and sell this for what it is because you are cheating once again. I'm using a fork. All right guys, so behind the scenes, this is what's really happening. When you bring your napkin up, you're able to show both sides because I'm wrapping the fork behind it right here. That's still the back. They see most of the back and then they see the front. So this fork is right here the whole time and you're able to move it. So what you do is place it on top of your plate and then you're going to just shove it into your roll. And then from there, you can lift that roll up and have it pop out over part of your napkin. And from here, it's all ghostly, ghostly acting. Ooh, it's magic. And from here, you can go underneath and back into the napkin and have it ooh, float away from you. Whoa, crazy, right? That is so cool. And when you're done, just put the napkin down, pull that fork out, bring it toward you and ditch it on the floor. And then bring your napkin up and let people inspect it. This next one is great when you're doing something one-on-one -on -one, and you can do it almost anytime, anywhere with a small object, preferably something like a business card or a playing card. It's really cool. I will say I have an advantage because I've learned to move my fingers independently and you need to be able to do this. You need to be able to pull your pinky down like that and squeeze without moving your ring finger. So if you can do this, you can do this very quickly and very easily. If you can do it, you can still pull this off easily because you're gonna use your other hand to help move a finger secretly to make this levitation work. Check it out up close. What you're gonna do is hold a business card or playing card like this, bring your hands together, cup them together for support, and then all of a sudden, one card will start to go up in the air, then the card or business card is seen hovering far above your hand and then it drops back down. Well, the secret is this pinky. Start with your hands overlap normally like this with a business card or playing card on top and say, watch, I'm gonna make this card levitate. And then what you do is you show the front and back of the card one more time and secretly when you come together, 
So all you're doing when bringing your hands back together while holding that card is secretly sticking this finger between the ring and pinky finger of the other hand and having it be straight up. Now what's really cool, if you can control it independently, you can make it wiggle around a little bit while there's a card or business card floating on top. And what's cool is you can bring that out and below the card without anyone detecting it if you can move those fingers independently. If you can't, using this other finger to help force it up works just fine. So you have the card here and when you bring your hands back together, they can't tell that you've stuck the pinky up inside there because the card is in the way. And all you're doing is placing it right there on that pinky. And then from there on out, it's all acting. This next one is fantastic when you're out with friends or on a date and there's a small cocktail table or cafe table or dining table that has a skirt on it. It may be an ice cream parlor or a restaurant. So what you're gonna do is one of two things. One, if you're seated, your knee happens to be right below the table surface. So what you do is you put your two feet together on top of each other like this. Turn one sideways, put one on top, and then the surface of the table should be firmly against the top of your knee. So then on top of the table, push downwards with your hand, and then you have the table wedge between your knee and your hand, and so then you're gonna lift up sideways with your foot, and the table's gonna come up into the air, and it's gonna look like it's hovering and levitating around. And when they look underneath the table, you slowly just undo your feet, put them next to each other, and it doesn't look like you did anything. Now another option is to stick your toe underneath one of the legs or the center of the table and then press down and lift it with just one leg or with your foot underneath it like I showed you by twisting your feet and lifting upwards and you can have that same sort of levitation. Now of course this table is see-through and it won't work. It needs to be a table that has the skirt around it or the cloth or linen. This next one is a simple way to levitate yourself for one or two spectators that are just a few feet away from you. Check this out. You're gonna stand about 45 degrees facing away from a spectator that's gonna be standing about right here. So a good two or three steps away from you. One, two, three, that's perfect. Have them stand right there and say, hey, check this out. Stay right there, back away from them. Turn away as you're facing them and say, watch this, I'm gonna levitate but be careful if I start to fall or faint, catch me. So you get their mind thinking about other things and what you're gonna do is put your arms out like this and you're gonna come down, lower your legs, bend your body, go down, and then you start to come up. You're gonna do some more pantomiming just like some of the other effects I've taught you. You're gonna come up, 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 and then literally off the ground. Let me zoom in and show you exactly what's going on with the feet. Now this right here represents a perfect representation of the angle that the spectator is gonna see and how far away it's gonna look like. So what you're gonna do is stand away on this position. You're gonna lower your body, your arms, bend your knees, and when you start to come up with your hands, keep them out to your side, and as you start to almost straighten your legs, but not all the way, you're gonna go off, you're gonna go off the ground, and you're gonna levitate. And at this point, you can be loose with your foot that's facing them a little bit. Whoa, this is crazy, I'm up in the air. And then, at this point, while you're up on your toe, this all happens in just a couple seconds, you're going to completely then extend your legs straight and lift your arms up even more to give the illusion that you're still going up in the air in their mind, and then you separate your legs and come back down. But unbeknownst to them, what you're doing is using this outside foot to block the view of this. It's Fundamentally simple, but putting it all together is important. I can't stress this enough. It's such a simple idea, but there's so many subtle things you gotta do to at least pull it off correctly. Make sure that this leg is blocking the tip of this toe. You don't wanna stand directly away from them or sideways, it's a little bit more on a 45. Then when you're coming down, go down, and when you come up like this, right now, before you're completely straightened up, is when you wanna go up on your secret toe, so you're gonna go up in the air on that toe, and then this outside foot is still loose. Let it hover and uh, move just a little tiny bit. Not enough to expose what's going on, but just a little bit to look kind of mysterious. But also, as you're just getting up on that toe, that's when you wanna to continue to rise up. You see, with the rest of your body and your chest and your legs, because then in their mind, it still looks like you're going up in the air. 
That's the coolest part about this. And then when you come down, separate legs and drop, giving you another illusion that you've dropped from several feet. I'll bet you you don't know how this is done. No, really, I bet you don't know how this is done. I'm going to show you how to make this rig and how to levitate almost anything right in front of you with no strings, no mirrors, no special thumbs poking through a hole. This is really cool, but is used in very specific applications. You can check in the description and see a time when I did this for a nonprofit event uh, in commercial and I levitated a book and I had the pages change with invisible string. So you can actually see how I did that now. Take a look at the link down below, but now I'm going to show you the secret. All right, guys, so what I've done is I've made this really cool contraption that comes out of my shirt and I can pivot it from one side to the other. So this thing's right here. I have it painted black. I'll turn sideways so you can kind of see it. I'll put the cup here to give a little bit of a distinction between the colors, but coming right out of my tummy right here, there is this wire. And what's really cool is this wire has an S turn in it. I bent it at a right angle and then an inch later I bent it at another right angle and that gave me the opportunity to play with the height that I want to make this. So you can adjust this according to whatever you're levitating, how long or big the object is and how it might hide this from this direction. So like in this particular case I had a little sticky goo on the back of this cup and I stuck it in there and the cup itself is so big it easily hid the wire. Now I levitated a book, you can see in the description below like I said, and the book had to be up at an angle to hide the wire. So it's a very flexible illusion and way to, to levitate things. And then as an additional idea, what's really cool is on the end right here, I took a female piece of threading and I made it to where it just fits on there. It just slides on, it hangs on by just traction alone, and this is a flat bar that I'm able to slide into big objects like to the spine of a book or anything along those lines, and this adds a huge platform to levitate pretty large objects. Now what's really cool about this, this is a lot stronger than just a hanger. This is cold roll steel, and it's very, very strong. And what's also cool is because it has this S curve, it's really important to note that it goes inside my shirt, down, and then you can see that it pivots, right? But now you're thinking, well, how is it being supported? Well, there's one more secret to this, and you can do this in many different ways. You can have this wedged in your belt. You can have a piece of wood between your belt and your tummy inside your pants with a hole in it and just stick it in there. What I have done is made this little contraption that's inside my pants and I have a sock around it, and I know there's gonna be some jokes in the comments, that's fine, but what I've done is, is protected my skin with a sock just because this is sharp. This is just a 29 cent piece of material I got from Home Depot, and I had a friend weld on another one of those female threaded pieces right here. So inside my shirt, secretly, this just slides right in, it doesn't thread in, it just slides in nice and firm. And then I have this really rad, firm piece of metal that's literally held against me with my belt. And then this is able to pivot just like this. Now let me put it back together and show you how I'm able to walk out and not even let you see that I have this here, this hide underneath my arm. It's a pretty cool setup. One last tip on this, I have one area here that's about nine inches and one area that's about 12 inches because depending on if I put it in like this or like this, the different length allows for different applications. So I'm going to do it with the long length coming toward you because the cup is so big, it's really going to hide all this. So I'm going to stick it in about one, two, three buttons up, and then I'm going to put the end inside of that little receiver that's hidden underneath my pants and held against me with my belt, and I'm good to go. Now as it is right now, since this is painted mostly black, you almost can't see it, but obviously it's there. But what's cool is this pivots and lays flat. So all you gotta do is hold your hand there, hold your drink, hold your phone, whatever, and now this is just underneath your arm and can pivot out whenever you want to use it and stick something on it. So you can walk out completely clean, have a jacket on, set this up, stick something on it, have that sticky goo right here and pull off a miracle. Or you could just walk out with it already on there, fool your family or friends, and then walk away. But I just wanted to share this with you because I've used this in many TV shows, 
and applications, and it's such a fun and simple homemade way to do a pretty rad levitation. Now, just a couple fine-tuned tips on this, since this is something I created, and it's many of the little weird gadgets I've created. You can do a little bit of a hip thrust, very subtle, sounds really weird and corny, but watch how I can make that go from low to high just by tilting my hips in and out, and you can make this go up and down by several inches. Now, when you have an object on it, you can make an object move, right? So from the front, look how rad that is. Another thing that's really cool is that sticky goo, after a minute, you'll start to notice that it starts to give away and the cup's gonna start to turn and pivot as it starts to peel off and fall. So just go with it, let that happen. And right when it gets to the point where it's gonna reveal the stick, just stop, take it away, and go, thank you very much. And what you've done is just push this out of the way and you can hide it with your arms very easily. All right, guys, we have a couple more levitations coming, but I wanted to remind you, hit that like button like crazy. Please help me out for sharing these really cool gadgets with you guys. And let's check out this next tutorial. All right, guys, I'm gonna teach you another classic levitation using a styrofoam cup, but I want you to see ahead of time that there's no holes or anything weird going on with this. I don't have any strings or anything attached to it. I'm gonna try something really weird though, watch. I'm gonna get this thing to levitate. Right here, watch. Oh, and watch, you can actually see it turning on its own. It's crazy, what? Now, just like the last levitation, I had the cup floating there, making you think it was the thumb trick that's so classic. Well, guess what? That's exactly what I've done. I'm just showing it to you again. All I've done is stuck my thumb right through it. Now, for those who have not seen this, this is pretty rad, but I'm gonna show you a couple improvements to make this more believable. Now, here is the big improvement. When you puncture a hole in the back of the styrofoam cup, do it ahead of time and make sure you puncture it, puncture it upwards so that the tear is at the bottom and at the top it's still attached so that you can, from the inside, close it back up and now you have this perfectly sealed cup. Now if there's a little bit of a tear right here you wanna hide, just put your thumb there. And now look at this, you have essentially a perfect cup that no one will suspect anything. So at this point you can actually have a little liquid in it finish that liquid and then tell your friends, hey, you guys wanna see something really cool with this cup? Now this does a lot. When you show them this, you don't say, look, there's no hole in it. Look, there's no hole in the back. You don't make a big deal about it, but just casually showing the cup makes it look really cool. And while you're holding it, just slide your finger inside there, the tip of your thumb, just stick it right through. That's all you gotta do. And then from the front, focus, hold from the sides. From the back, this is what it's looking like. The thumb's there inside, the other thumb's just over it, and then you're gonna do this. And you're gonna make it look like maybe you're holding it with your thumbs for just a moment. But then, as you're starting to play with it and it starts to go up and up and up and up and up, bring your hands away and then they see one thumb. And then when they see this pivoting right here, see this? That is a huge improvement because from the front, as it starts to go, what's rad is it doesn't seem like your hand's doing this, so it seems independent from your hand. And then when you pull your thumb back out, if you want, you can reheal it by pushing up in from the inside. You can do this very casually as you show the bottom of the cup, show your hands, switch it, and then you can say, look, no strings, no holes. This is a nice improvement over the typical gag, which I see people do this. And that's all they do. This is what I see people do, this. And that's cool. That's fun, it's cute. But if you can make it go up and then float away from you and turn, that's pretty cool. For this next one, you need a pen or pencil, a water bottle that's empty or a glass. You're gonna drop a pen inside and then what you're gonna do is try to get it to levitate right back out of the bottle. How cool is that? Let me show you up close because this is all black on purpose so it disguises what's going on so you can see how cool this really looks. So here's a regular big pen I'm gonna drop inside of a water bottle. You can hear it dangling inside there. All I gotta do is focus and cause it to levitate right out. How cool is that? And you can hand this out to someone to check out because the secret is so deceptive. If I put my hand here for contrast, you can see that inside the cap, there's a black string. It's regular thread, nothing special. What I've done is looped it right here around the tip of the pin 
and then I just stuck the cap right on top, wedging that string on there. That's it, nothing special. Then what I did is I attached the other end of that string either to my shirt or to my pants. There's two options here. In this particular case, it's just safety pin to my leg right here. So then what I'm able to do is just move my leg up and down and it pulls the tension on that string. So then with the cap and the string caught together right here, what I'm able to do is pull the string along the body of the pin, it's black on black so no one's going to see it, I pinch the string and pin together and now the string is taut along this pin, you would never even see it and then what I do is I can hold the pin normal, bring my leg up to have a little slack and then I say hey I have this bottle, watch this, I'm going to drop a pin inside, you can actually hear it jingle inside there, it's all legit at this point and all you have to do is lower your leg and then watch the pin come out. Pretty cool. And from that moment on, all you got to do is uncap it, the string drops, it's gone, there's no evidence, and you can hand this out to people to check out. Now as an additional idea, you could take the string and attach it to yourself somewhere. So if the string's on the pin inside the bottle and it's going straight to you, you could drop your hand behind the bottle and that would cause the tension to pull and have the pin come up. So to recap, pun intended, what you're going to do is wrap some string around the tip of the pin, hold it in place, take the extra, stick it inside the cap, I know it's very difficult to see because this is all black, stick it inside there and wedge it on there so now the pin is dangling by that somewhat invisible string. What you're going to do is pull it along the pin so that it's straight, you're going to drop the pin with the cap farthest away from you into a glass or a container like this, throw it in there and then you're set to go and from this moment on all you have to do is push this bottle away from you and that automatically causes this string to be taut and it pulls up or what you can do is gesture downwards and it causes it to happen right the same thing what's really cool is just pulling away like this, slowly pulling your body away and the pin goes upwards. That's pretty cool. This was my idea and my addition was the ability to just uncap this and boom, you're clean, the string drops and there's no evidence. I think this is a great idea. Now traditionally this is done as an illusion with a pencil. So what you would do is take the end of your thread with a needle and stick it through the eraser and loop it through there and then you drop the eraser or eraser first into your bottle and then it's the same exact trick but I like the pen idea better because the ability to attach and unattach on the fly is pretty cool. Alright guys stick around for just a minute because we're going to do a giveaway and I'm going to ask you a really fun question. So I'm going to give away one of these $100 bills. Now this is a fake $100 bill. It looks really real except it has a note on it that says smile you've been pranked. Now these are custom printed for me and I'm going to give one of these away. I'm going to give away one of my brand new decks of Ferguson playing cards and these are so slick they, they fan so amazingly one of these I'm going to give away the little hookup with the string as well as the matching black pin because you know it's easy to find but this is just all set for you and also a little bit of this gooey tacky putty along with one pair of used well not on a person but damaged and a uh, black pair of these uh, underoos or whatever you want to call these leggings so you can do some of this invisible string as well as this piece of paper with a length of invisible string on it. So I'm going to give all this away to one of you. Just comment down below and what I want you to do is just say something fun, say I want to be part of the giveaway, whatever you want, but please like and share this video like mad. I really appreciate you guys' help and you can also comment down below if you want just for fun or for the giveaway because I'm going to do another prank where I'm going to be on a phone walking past people saying stuff like to my doctor going, wait, you're saying that the, the warts on my butt are, 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 are not going to go away or whatever it is, something embarrassing, it could be funny, it could be whatever you want, surprising, so give me some ideas of what you want me to say on the phone in a fake conversation that people are going to overhear as a prank. All right, guys, thank you so much for the support and love. Happy New Year's to you guys. We got tons of more tutorials coming your way, so be sure you please share and like my video like man. And that's it. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Subscribe to Rich Ferguson or else. <laughs>